and Cesarek, they are in the middle of this men's invitational 5,000 meter. Again, Chase in history did it indoors in the mile. And what's very interesting, he's lined up against, right next to a guy named Justin Knight from Syracuse, a guy that has been chasing Cesarek, beat him in cross country this year. Uh, and, and a guy that we will watch out for over the next few years. But Alex, a deep field outside of just these two. Who do we got? Let's line it up here. Nathan Brennan of Nike, Kamoy Campbell of New Balance, Garrett Heath not in this section, but Riley Masters is of Nike, Sam, Sam McKenty, uh, Florian Orth, Luke Bouchette, Edward Cheserick of Oregon, Justin Knight of Syracuse, Tommy Curtin of Saucony, Schrader of Saucony, Eric Peterson of Butler, Merber of Hoka, Wynn of BAA, Ross Millington, uh, Global Sports, Tate of Southern Utah, Dunbar of Nike, uh, Guy of Poso, Hoover, Hoover of ASIC, and O'Hare of, of the BAA are your Pacers on the outside. So our Pacers up front, O'Hare. And Hoover. And Hoover, thank you guys, coming back, double duty. <laughs> O'Hare looking good in that 15. Hoover in that, in that uh, steeplechase earlier today. You see our standards, 322.6 for the men's world champ standard. 332 flat for the U.S. standard. And right now the U.S. lead, 1336. This is a stacked race. <laughs> it is, yes. Up front, I mean, Chaz is all business early, as you can see. Very rarely do we go, we see him go to the front right behind Rabbits this early. Right behind Chaz is Gabriel Gray, or Gabriel Gee. And, and right now they go through in 63-6. The pace that they were looking for, Coach Andy Powell and Cesaret were looking for, was 64s, eight minute pace through 3K. The Pacers tonight were told 63.9. We need you at 63.9. And they're trying Dialed to get in. 3K. We may get 2,500. We'll see how far these guys can go. So, again. Sam, Sam McKenty tucking in behind Gee, and then it is Justin Knight. Some, some form of Villanova blood out here, McKenty. There right now in fifth. We'll, later in the 10K, we'll see Patrick Tiernan, the NCAA champ from 2016. The only other guy to take down, <laughs> yes. Edward Cesarek. Yep, in cross country, yeah. Tiernan uh, was, the, was the top dog. Justin Knight, second. Uh, those guys, you know, you don't see it often, breaking Edward Cesarek. But right now, it looks like he's got a little help up here from another athlete up in the mix. So and it's Guy. Uh, and uh, Guy is leading the charge behind the Rabbits, then Chez, then McKenty, Knight, and then hip six is Florian Orth of Germany, the 27-year-old up in the mix. Comes in here with a, he's a 13-23 guy last year. And then there's Kamoy Campbell up in the mix there, the former Arkansas All-American training in Boston now. Then I believe it's Dunbar behind him. Another story here is Kyle Merber in the back of this race. What can he run for a 5K? Well, he, he doesn't know. He's, he's uh, never broken 14 <laughs> minutes. He ran two in college and hasn't run one since. But he said he, he drew some inspiration from watching Riley Masters run his 13-17 a few years ago. And they're actually the, the two in the back of the pack right now. So... We'll, we'll wait to see what happens with those guys as they come through. Riley Masters, formerly with the Brooks Beast, now with Nike and training out in, in Boulder. This is the thing we actually saw today. Merber sitting on a, on a grassy field with giant books <laughs> in his arm on the Stanford campus, of course. Hard, hard leather-bound books. Gabriel Gear, the guy right in front of Cesarek. And 13.25, his PR from a year ago, it says, from... I'm not mistaken, Tanzania. Man, it's strung out well. Kudos to, to Chris and to Caleb up front here for setting the tone in this 5K. Guy, Chez, Sam McKenty, Knight, Orth. And Guy, 13.25 uh, ran last year. I mentioned 5K, 28.04, but this year, uh, in February, 61 minutes for half marathon. So, yeah, I mean, that's part of that POSO group is all about crushing, uh, uh, like, I mean, they have a bunch of guys that can go sub 62 in the half. So this is a tall task. We've got some, uh, some major records here. I mean, 
You know, they've wanted to take down the school record at Oregon. Cheserick has. It's 13-14. Bill McChesney from back in the, in the 70s. And you got the 13-07 mark that was run by Eric Jenkins out of season, which is recognized... Not recognized in the Oregon record books, but recognized in the uh, in the NCAA, or I should say the US TFCCCA uh, notches as outside the season. So depending on what you look at there, and then obviously the, the collegiate record, that's the uh, official one in the books, the Henry Ronos 1308. Uh, man, one of the all time greats, not just in the NCAA, but uh, gosh, with six, six world records uh, over, over a span of not, not too long. Or three world records over a couple few weeks. Got yeah. it. it was uh, something <laughs> unbelievable. 63-9 on that last one. So O'Hare is off the track. Guy is up to the front. Hoover is still on the track. So uh, Guy, I, Guy is not a rabbit, from what I understand. And these guys have broken away here. So it's still Guy, Chez, Sam McKenzie, Justin Knight, and then a little bit back to gap back to Orth. Dunbar and uh, Kamoy Campbell, and then leading the next charge is Ross Millington um, in like that third pack leading uh, leading that group. And uh, to tell you how well these guys are running right now, well, in two, four, six, eighth place right now is Kamoy Campbell, who ran 13-14 indoors not long ago in February. So Kamoy having trouble staying with that lead group, and man, I'll tell you what, Justin Knight could be a spoiler here tonight. <laughs> There's Kamoy Campbell, you see on the right of the screen with that chase group, Trevor, Trevor Dunbar in there. But man, these guys up front, it'll be interesting to see how this all shapes out. Guy is really helping out, the pacer is off. And so, here we go. All, both pacers are off the track now. It's still all business. That turnover from Yee looks pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty saucy up front. 656 with six laps to go. Mark, we can hear you. Here we go, as Gee is still leading. Man, these four are gonna have to work together now. Man, I mean, I, they're committed at this point. Just under a mile and a half to go, and these guys are going for it again. 1308. The time to be for Chez. But lurking there in the shadows is Justin Knight. Does Chez know he's there? Oh, he will know he's there <laughs> because we know Chez will look over his shoulder like six times over the last 300 meters. 63-5 on that last 400, and they're going to be coming up to three to uh, 3K here. And they were about, man, just under 730 at 2,800 meters. So they're going to be right close to that eight-minute mark. Again, Chez ran 3.51 indoors 352.01 for the collegiate record indoors just, seriously not that long ago up there at that BU meet yep had an impressive Ooh, eight flat 801 ish <laughs> oh man we'll call it all right so 2k to go and they're 801 so whew. so we need what 506 506 so you're talking 233 k's that is a tall task oh, here. Man. That is a tall task. So, but if anyone has a chance, it's these guys. There's your chase group with Kamoy Campbell leading it. And also right there with him, a guy that I'm really excited uh, is in this race, if, if I can find it, Mike Tate, who ran a solo PR 13.39 at the Stanford Invite on his birthday. It was awesome. And now he's getting a chance to run with some, some big dogs here. And this, he's leading this, that chase group now. The front pack, though, and, uh, and then we got that last shot. There's Daniel Wynn leading that last, the, uh, the third chase pack there. But back to the front here. One mile to go. We are at 9.05. 9.05. Oh, four, can you close it 4.03? 4.02. You got to close it 4.02. Wow. That, so we, we, you can tell how tough this will be. They're not Regar running 402 pace right now, I can tell you that. Regardless, it's going to be a very, very fast race. So 402 for the, the collegiate record. For Cesarek, he'd need uh, another six seconds on that. So 408 for the school record at Oregon. If you're going off the Machesney 1314. And here we go, last lap 65.5. So they slowed up. They got to they they go. start working. 
So which guy, I mean, Gee has been leading this. To, I mean, he doesn't, he, he probably doesn't know any of these guys. So it's really on Gee to keep this pace hot at this point. And you know, this isn't, I, this isn't quite at the same level because, you know, Pal, Pal and Chesarek really targeted this race, but they weren't, weren't as aggressive to, sit, to, to promote a record attempt. Yeah. You know, we knew they were, were going after something special, but you think back to 2010 when Galen Rupp announced he was going after the American record and there was the spoiler in there, Chris Zielinski. Well, guess who's out here? Justin Knight. You know, we may not, we, based on our times, we may not see a collegiate record, but we're going to see one of the fastest 5Ks all time, and Justin Knight is going to be right I in the mean, mix. I mean, yeah, honestly, I, if, even if they run 13.15, I mean, two collegians running 13.15 is out of control. So here we go, folks. About 600 meters to go, and we're at 10.42. 65. Sam McKenty running a real good one a year ago, ran 13.20. So he's looking to try and get a PR. So another 65. So we're slowed up. Your all-time marks here. Oh, man. 13. Here we go. A Sam, Sam McKenty's making a move here. It's the mustache. Chance swings wide, and here we go. McKenty looking over his shoulder, knowing he's putting in some effort here. Two to go, 11.15. So a, a two minute would put him at 13.15. And now the question is, collegiate record I think is out of there, but it now is who may be in the top two or three, all, or I should say top three or four all time, and will it be Justin Knight or Edward Cheserek, the top collegiate Man, of the evening? Is Look at Knight. Is Knight making the pass? See you later. Oh, man, now committed. 600 Six meters to go. This could be a huge race. Justin Knight, this is his fifth year running. Don't forget that. Ever. He, every time he steps on a track in a race like this, he learns something new about himself. So he made a move, but now he's starting to get reeled in a little bit here. McKenzie's still up front. Then it is Guy. Knight and Chess. Chess stuck on the inside a little bit here. McKenty, that long loping stride, and Knight moving to the front as well. So here we go. We're coming up on one oh, lap to man. go, and we are at 12.17, 12.18, 12.19. is PR, 13.18. So he's got to do some work now to get under that. That The last few laps before this had slowed, and it's McKenty, Knight, Gee, and Cesarek. Are we going to see a changing of the guard here? Oh, man. Justin Knight is oh, pulling man. away from Edward Cheserek. It looks he's like pulling away now from he's everybody. going for the win. Justin Knight, the Syracuse junior, one year left in the NCAA and may put his name 49. at the top. 12.49, 61.9 on that last lap. Oh, McKenty's moving pretty well, though. Mc They're both rolling. McKenty has got speed. And he Justin Knight, this race isn't over Woo! yet. But we know who the top collegiate of the evening is going to be. And it's Justin Knight at the top of the straightaway fighting off Sam McKenty. This is going to be a big run for both of these guys. Knight, McKenty, Syracuse versus the former Villanova grad. Here we go. It's going to be close. Knight's going to get it. 13-17. And he's oh, going to move up on that all-time list in front of Edward Cheserek. Man, I, he Whoa. came across the line. Justin Knight. Wow. <laughs> smiling at him. He like looked over at Tiernan and smiled and gave him a little pat on the back like they just played horse on a, the basketball court. A year court. ago, Justin Knight ran 13.27 here. He said he was upset. He missed the Olympic standard by two seconds. He stayed up till 4 a.m. to download the Drake album. He learned his lesson there. And comes back today, 13-17, gets the world standard, and is now the number sixth collegiate all-time in the 5K. And he moves in front of Galen Rupp. Wow. I mean, he closed. It wasn't that he ran that that he ran that time. It's that they closed really, really strongly. Shows he can do both, close well and Compete He's, in a very fast he, race. He moves in front of Galen Rupp, just behind now, only a few tenths of a second behind, uh, Mr. Alistair Craig, <laughs> one of the 